10. Welcome to the official opening of the Youth Economy Agency's physical office. I say physical because we have in fact been operating virtually for the past several weeks since our launching. But I have the confidence in the young people of St. Lucia. I believe if you can give them a space, you can give them time, and I want to encourage them. I want to tell the staff in, in, the, in this building that your job is to facilitate, your job is to assist. Nine. The Ministry of Agriculture and the Taiwan Technical Mission hosted a training session on dehydration of local produce for students of the Babano Secondary School. The training session focused on various aspects of agro-processing, including the production of candied fruits and vegetables. So we are, what we are doing here is to build the capacity in um, putting value added to the crops that are already available and crops that are going to waste. Eight. I am indeed very pleased that the Ministry has taken the position that to commence, commence Youth Month, that we do it with praise and worship. Seven. The people of St. Lucia are once again in line to benefit from the generosity of the Taiwanese government. The latest aid package comes in the form of a gifted 20-foot container, this time containing health amenities. Today's gesture by the Taiwanese embassy is not only of value to this country, but greatly complements the current efforts of government and is very timely. On behalf of the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and Taiwanese NGO Cao Zongzi Foundation, I am extremely happy and honor to hand over 465 items of assistance devices. Six. The Energy and Public Utilities Division of the Ministry of Infrastructure, in conjunction with the Secretariat of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, has provided the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment with 2,000 energy-saving light bulbs for distribution to 650 vulnerable households that are registered on government's public assistance program. The utility bills are among the most inadequacy that these vulnerable groups experience on a day to day. The energy efficient devices so that the LED light bulb, the poor and the vulnerable can contribute to that global first. And the, what we need them to do is to reduce the energy intensity and to reduce their consumption. Five. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, in collaboration with the Food and Agriculture Organization, FEO, held a consultation meeting to gather input on the current state of the agriculture sector in order to develop the agricultural policy framework and strategy for St. Lucia. This policy is supposed to run from the year 2023 to 2030 in tandem with the 2030 Sustainable Goals Development Agenda. Therefore, the Ministry is ensuring that we meet those international milestones and the commitments that we signed up for. Four. The United States Agency for International Development has launched its five-year Youth Resilience, Inclusion and Empowerment Project in St. Lucia with a focus on supporting youth 10 to 29 years of age. They will administer topics such as life skills, um, conflict resolution, leadership. What we basically focused on was theoretical as well as practical activities that we can use. Three. Youth groups of View Fort hosted a healthy lifestyle walk under the St. Lucia Moves campaign. Happy uh, we walked all the way from the brewery through OJ and we're now here at the Philip uh, Masley grounds where we will have some gift distributions and folks are going to enjoy some warm downs and a healthy breakfast. Two. World Health Day, held every year on April 7th, marks the anniversary of the founding of the World Health Organization. The Ministry of Health is committed to working towards the provision of quality accessible health care. I urge you to take personal responsibility in relation to your health. One newly elected president of the St. Lucia Nurses Association, Shirlene Duncan, says she is no newbie to the hierarchy, having previously served on the executive. And over the years, we have not 
been able to be as visible as we wanted to and as dynamic as we would have wanted to. So our plan as an executive is to foster collaboration among all nursing stakeholders 